A while back, I started a script. It was on a topic which I figured was going to find its conclusion in the near future. Writing a script before an event sounds a bit crazy, but it's not all that uncommon. And since it was such a big deal, I figured I should start early. And this script is on one of the largest barriers in Osu. The journey to get the first 10 star FC. Sadly, that was six months ago. And ever since, I've been trying to wrap my head around how we got two 10 star FCs on unranked maps. A 10 star FC on a qualified map, and an FC on a 10 star ranked map. And yet we still don't have a 10 star FC. That last sentence won't make much sense right now, because it's frankly a bit absurd. But that's why this video is here. To explain the story behind not only the lead up to where we are today, but also how the last six months have left us without a 10th RFC. We begin our story in June of 2017, when with an absurd amount of skill and luck, Amelia FC'd the first unranked 9 star. This was a pretty huge deal, and the video of him doing it has racked up over 500,000 views, which made sense since this play was a sight to behold. Because the thing is that 9 star jumps are really, really hard. Cross map 260 BPM jumps and squares. This would prove that a 9 star was possible, at least on an unranked map. But for a ranked map, it was a bit different. Since it would take over a year to get the first ranked 9 star FC. And it was actually on a speed map of all things. It was a pretty cool score from Septon. But sadly, it would also mark the last of these records to not be set on one kind of a map. Fiery maps. Yeah, I complain about this dude a lot, but you gotta give him credit since he basically monopolized the farming meta for an entire year, and he was single-handedly able to take the record up half a star, when Flying Tuna FC the now-ranked anime ban for 9.3 stars, then Fiery himself was able to FC his own map of Guess Who's Back for 9.36 stars, and a couple months later A Blue would FC Just Add Ice with 3 mod for a 9.49 star FC. This isn't the complete progression. But if you really want a breakdown of every fiery map that was farmed for an entire year, just like tell me in the comments or something. After this though, a sort of shift would take place, when one dude would seem to come out of nowhere and blow every other player in the game out of proportion. White Cat. White Cat was a new breed of player. He was able to 3 mod map with no DTFCs, compete with FG Sky for the PP record, and even do things that weren't fiery maps. Crazy, I know. This is why it was only a matter of time until he'd take his record back from A Blue. And with one of his most ridiculous plays at that time, he would FC a 9.7 star map and push the record forward a huge amount. This was honestly already quite close to the elusive 10 star FC. And it also happened in 2019. Yeah, we've still got a really long way to go. And this is for two big reasons. Player skill and the extreme rarity of 10 star maps, which are also extremely farmable. The first is self explanatory, like it's hard to play 10 star maps, and no one in the game had a chance except for one dude. But the second was almost the bigger problem from here on out, since by the time you reach 7 stars with Nomad, which is the only way to get to a 10 star, it becomes extremely difficult to rank something that doesn't include ridiculously difficult streams or something of the like. Like, for example, even Black Rover's top difficulty with DT isn't 10 stars. So let's take a look at the list of doable 10 stars at the time. First, you got Nevo's Lonely Go Diff. Oh, you expected more? Yeah, good luck on finding anything else. It wasn't just that there weren't many maps, but even things like Fiery's Kimi no Boken, which realistically should have been one of the easier maps, by bursts after the 1 in a million RNG jumps. This is why after he set his magma play, White Cat would spend a long period of time not really trying for anything more difficult, and he'd also sort of artificially push the record way past where it made sense for it to be. And so because of him, the record would also come to a rest. Throughout the entire first half of 2020, this would hold true. But despite this, things would change a huge amount, mainly because these two crackheads would show up big time. Popular Valorant man Emrek and Roblox player Murami. These two both came from relative obscurity, and especially in Murami's case, made a huge name for themselves. Like, I've gotta make this clear, Murami was and still isn't playing the same game as anyone else when it comes to speed. He single-handedly made a playstyle not only viable, but a competitor for both the PP record and the star rating record. 
And in June of 2020, everything seemed to come together. When Murami peaked, and White Cat actually tried again. It was a huge pool of new maps, it was crazy. This would begin on June 14th with a 3 mod FC on Browie C's Imagination for a 9.83 star FC. It was the first progression in months, but it also would not stand for long. And one of the most ridiculous turns of events in Osu history, it would almost be blown out in massive proportions. Because Murami's speed ability opened up a few doable 10 star maps. Obviously doable is in massive quotation marks, since who would try a speed 10 star, right? <laughs> This guy. The fact that this was a play that happened still blows my mind to this day. And on one hand, it did make the map seem doable, but also how after going like hard gush mode, that he still wasn't able to FC the map sort of showed just how difficult the 10 star FC was. But his skill most certainly was teetering on the edge of being able to do this kind of thing. But like I mentioned earlier, he wasn't the only one to set a bunch of crazy plays this month. Since in the middle of the month, White Cat would come and make a play on the one doable jump map 10 star, and he would get damn close to FCing it. Woo! That's a lot better. Yeah, in one month, there were two 10 star FC chokes. That's how close we were to the score. And only the next month, we would get an even stronger case to just how close the community was to getting a 10 star FC. And of all things, it had to come on a nearly 10 year old map. Which title just happens to represent exactly what Murami was doing in mid-2020. Again. This was almost a year ago. But we were 0.2 stars away from a 10 star FC. As time would go on, this would only be compounded by White Cat and Emrek FCing unranked 10 stars. They were both real 10 stars without cheese, and Emrek's in particular was messed up in terms of difficulty. This proved they both definitely could do it, and they were even both trying for it, when someone else came out and FC'd a ranked 10 star. Yeah, this doesn't sound right, but Goink used the glitch of the touchscreen detection in Osu, which makes it so a select few maps don't detect touchscreen to play C-Type with 3-mod and get the very first technical 10-star FC. That one's just a fun fact on the side. But aside from that, we've had multiple unranked 10-star FCs. And so, how have we still not gotten a ranked one? Well, to figure this out, we're going to have to look from three separate perspectives. One for each of the current top three. All of which most certainly have the ability to FC a 10-star. First, let's go with Murami, since it's the easiest one to see. The main case here is a combination of not playing quite as much, and also, as weird as it sounds, he also set his sights on bigger things than just a 10 star FC. It's easiest to see through his DT grind on sidetrack day, like my guy legit transitioned from choking Moikai to choking 11 star maps. There is also an element of bad luck though, since there have been two separate maps which Murami choked a 10 star FC on since. Valley of the Damned and Plasma Gun one of which is 10.5 stars, and the other is a 1400 PP choke. He too missed both of these maps. His plasma gun score also came within days of the map's ranking, and the ease with which he got it made it abundantly clear that if he felt like it, a 10 star FC is possible. And I also think this refutes people saying that Moe Kai was an uber god mode, which Murami can never replicate. Like obviously the first thing there is true, but I think these plays pose some pretty strong evidence against the second. Oh, and by the way, he FC'd an 11 star in practice, so that's probably doable as well. I repeat, this man is not human. Okay, next comes White Cat, which is also pretty simple. Obviously in June, he was within 0.2 stars of a 10 star FC, meaning that nearly any improvement could push him over the edge. But that wasn't what happened. This is a combination of seemingly losing motivation for Osu as a whole, and changing his focus away from raw aim. Despite this though, in late 2020, he was able to become the first player to FC a 10 star on an unranked map, so he clearly isn't incapable of it. And if anything, this just shows how much his aim has improved. So why not? Well, you really have to just chalk it up to a lack of effort. 
towards anything besides scores that he really wanted to set. This is a point that seems to ring true throughout all three of these perspectives, but it has to be the most important in our last case, with Emrek. Emrek may be the most strange out of all of these, because unlike the other two, he's consistently gotten better, and has both FC'd 10 stars offline and choked numerous online. The best part is that there was even one map ranked that seemed to be almost tailor-made for him to do this one thing. One of the most ridiculous farm maps in years, which is also just over 10 stars, in the form of imagination. To put in perspective just how easy this map is for him, he FC'd it with DT only on his first attempt, despite the map being 9.5 stars, and then proceeded to 3 mod 1 miss the map, mind block, and then quit, only to refuse to play the map on Boncho again. Even when grinding for the number one spot, he didn't play it. That's how far he was against it. And I feel like this represents pretty well his mentality behind all of this, since with aim like his, there's no question behind whether or not he could do it. And that's where we are today, with nine tensor chokes, three people entirely capable of breaking the barrier, and a severe lack about caring for that record. Despite this though, it does finally seem like the end is near for the record. Since the second the right map gets ranked, or any of these players start to care, it's going to get pulled off very, very quickly. Also, we've got some new contestants pulling up, like this 9 potato dude, who's going to be playing 11 stars or something soon. Mark my words. Still, in the end, it'll just come down to a combination of a lot of skill, and even more luck. And until then, I think this is kind of sad.